The government of Belize has purchased two pieces of equipment through a loan facility from the Central American Bank for Economic Integration for the National Forensic Science Services. The two equipment we received today is an advanced laboratory grade evidence storage refrigerator. Um, we have refrigerators already, but a forensic laboratory always needs additional storage space. So this refrigerator will allow us additional storage space um, using proper temperature uh, storage conditions. The second equipment is a portable Fourier transform infrared spectrometer. Um, it's a tongue twister, but it's basically an instrument that allows for rapid field identification of chemical substances using confirmatory analysis. Um, so it provides reliable, accurate um, field uh, testing of suspected controlled substances or any substances under uh, law enforcement investigation. There has been greater reliance on forensic evidence for cases and so Minister of Home Affairs Karim Musa says that improvement of the NFSS is needed. As you know traditionally police rely uh, almost exclusively on eyewitness testimony but we are now uh, diversifying the evidence that we're gathering and so what we have here today is a huge game changer. We have the uh, field test kit that will now be used out in the field by our law enforcement agencies not not just the NFSS but also our ANU officers, even the uh, Customs Department can have access to it. It is part of the $60 million Belize Integral Security Program that was designed back in 2010-2011. It was approved in 2014 and Belize received its first disbursement four years later. But according to CEO Dr. Osman Martinez, the project was using money only for operational expenses. So the acquisition of the two pieces of equipment is a historical moment for the project. Today marks a historical moment for the project, which is the Belize Integral Security Program, for the Ministry of Economic Development. But more important, it shows the commitment of the Briseño administration that we have in getting the job done. We have been clear with all projects that if we will not deliver then you will have to step down and give the opportunity to people, to Belizean people who want to do and who want to work for the nation of Belize and the Belizean people. But that is only one small aspect of this $60 million loan that we are investing in law enforcement in Belize. So the uh, Belize Defense Force, the Belize Coast Guard, the Belize Police Department, and also the NFSS will be huge beneficiaries of equipment, of infrastructure, of camera systems, of motor vehicles, uh, you name it, to enhance our law enforcement capabilities and certainly strengthen us so that when we get before a court of law, we can deliver that type of evidence. In subsequent disbursements of this loan, more funding will be provided for the purchase of additional equipment to supplement the inventory at the NFSS. But equipment aside, the National Forensic Science Services will, in the near future, benefit from the construction of a new lab as well as a forensic morgue. There is 6.478 million Belize dollars that will be invested in design and construction of a forensic facility. And two, there is 2.169 million Belize dollars that will be invested in equipment to further equip the Belize Forensics Science Service. And the total amount will be 8.647 Belize million dollars that will be invested uh, for the, uh, that will, um, the National Forensic Science Service will enjoy. Dwayne Moody for News 5.